Hey guys, this is Jason from Jason and Joni Builds. We're back in the shop on the 66 Bronco project today. We got a uh, short video uh, installing a Dennis Carpenter tailgate today. Uh, this is just another step in the process of building a Bronco. And uh, I want to show you guys everything, so this is another part of that. So uh, you guys give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And here we go. All right, guys. Um, before we get started, you know, I I see a lot on social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, see a lot of you guys that are are watching our channel, and comment and to see, you know, get to see some of the progress you guys are making. It's you know, it's really good. Y'all are doing a great job. Um, every once in a while, I see somebody that will post something where they've made a mistake, and. And you can tell you're really disheartened, and and I, I hate to see you guys get to get that way, because you know we all make mistakes, and I don't always show you guys everything I do wrong. Okay. This weekend I made several mistakes, uh, lapses of judgment, and uh, and I, I, I want to talk about them. I don't always want to show you guys if I if I mess something up, but I'm human, just like all of you guys, and uh, you know we make mistakes. The big, the biggest thing is how you. Uh, how you react to it, and just sometimes you got to walk away. Sometimes just take a deep breath and fix it. So it's sort of like we talked about dang it spots. Maybe you guys can see three little studs hanging out from underneath my dash. Well, when I fix that rust repair, you know, not paying attention, I put a lot of heat into it because I did a full seam weld front and back, like I told you guys on the video. Well, little did I know until. The other day, I went to put the windshield frame on, and my support across the Bronco had a crown to it. it. wasn't bad, but it did have a crown, and when I went to put my windshield on and tighten my piano hinge down, it uh, was lifted on the ends. So the way I had to fix that was I found a, just a real heavy piece of angle iron, and I welded those studs underneath put a couple blocks of wood under here and I had to tighten it down and sort of draw the center of that uh, of the windshield support or the dash support down. I did that. I, I screwed it up and it made me sick. But we got it fixed. It's, you know, it was a, it was a setback, but uh, it's just one of those things. All right guys, so here's my new Dennis Carpenter tailgate. I had some people give me a hard time about not using the the original, because I have an original 66 tailgate, but it is, it's in bad shape, guys. It's, it's got a lot of fiberglass in it. It's, it looks better on camera than it does really in person. So uh, I'm, this Bronco is not original, so I'm just not stressing it. Anyways, I went ahead and pulled all the pieces and parts out. We're gonna go ahead and get it assembled. So what I have, you, you have your uh, latch assemblies, you have one, slide in the left, one slide in the right. So when I took it apart, I tried to just keep them together. So I, when I disassembled, I just set it all on here. So I know this, this latch assembly is gonna go on this side. I don't wanna talk to any of you like you've never done this before, but uh, I, I'd hate to miss, not, not tell somebody and they not understand. Well, when you put your latch in, it's got a wedge it's got just a, the striking area, so that way when it hits the striker, it will go past the, uh, the lock. Anyways, that faces forward. That faces towards the front of the Bronco. So when you put it in, you need to make sure you have that, you know, like the way my tailgate's oriented, that goes down. And it takes two of your five sixteenths bolts. Same thing on this side with that with the beveled end down. And guys, I'm gonna 
clean all these parts up and tailgate up, but like everything else, we have to fit it first. And all this is slotted so that it be adjusted. So once we get the tailgate up there, we can start playing with the adjustment, sliding this in and out to loosen it or tighten it or either close or open the gap at the top. So we'll get to that in a minute. Here in the middle, we should have two little um, keepers. Those will go on your rods here. That'll be the next thing. There's no real easy way to show this. Hey yeah, guys, even Joni's giving me a hard time with the way these parts look. Gotta make it fit. Form and function first. We have two 7 16 inch bolts that bolt through the back side. And then you have four Phillips head bolts that come to the front. All right guys, real quick, uh, I went to put in my screws here up front. On the Dennis Carpenter, they don't come with the pressed in uh, nuts, or either, I, I guess right here they're expecting you to use the little push on clips with a, uh, you know, your thread, I don't know what they're actually called, but anyways, it's a metal clip, you push on there, it's a nut on the back. My 66 actually has them made in it, the original tailgate. So we figure that out together. So make sure you have you know, four of those for mounting your handle. And there's quarter 20 bolt thread. So you can pick those up at the hardware store if you don't already have them. But it's also held by two 7 16 bolts from the back. So I can put those on and we can hold our handle for the time being, but I'm gonna have to pick up some of those. I don't have any here in the shop today. All right, again, from underneath, we'll get both of these. Mount it up. We don't have to have our tailgate, I mean our tail light and uh, tag holder put on, but I just want to go ahead and put it on so I don't lose the parts. So it keeps it everything in one place. So basically it's just how it comes off. You have a couple screws. Light. I'm not going to stick the hole, but the light We'll get a rubber grommet and put it back through the hole. Frame. That's good enough for now. That's not going to go anywhere. And then the spring. A rubber bumper that goes in it. All right, guys. Uh, you'll start off with one of these in place. And there again, there's that Caribbean turquoise. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, see some of the original color. I'm just going to bump these in loosely. That way we can adjust it. Because that's your adjustment in and out, up and down. All right. So here's our tailgate supports. We'll get these put in, just sort of locked in too. Alright, so here's the fun part. Is getting this put in, sliding this in at the same time and getting your hand back behind it and getting a couple bolts lined up and started. So I went ahead and installed these so when I get the tailgate slid on, I can hook one of these up and it'll sort of help hold the, the tailgate up. Sorry guys, as I was pushing the tailgate over here to the Bronco, this little table's perfect for installing it. It's actually holding it for me. This is one of those easy up tables you get at Walmart or whatever. Uh, my dad's got it for me and it's, uh, man, it's quite handy. All right, let me get our lever up out of the way. Get our support on. Uh, feed this thing back in here. Boy, what a pain that'd be if this thing was all painted. Try not to scratch up your paint. So we're going to go ahead and put our gate supports on. And 
that is pretty close, just right out of the box. What I'm gonna do, guys, real quick, is I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick it up and then tighten this bottom hinge once I feel the top of the gate. There. Look at that. Gaps are great. Alright guys, we've got the tailgate, uh, the hinges adjusted. So they're adjusted up so they meet at the top. We've got them pushed in at the bottom. So you just kind of have to play with that a little bit and get the tailgate fitting how you want it to fit, how it should fit. And then uh, it also has these little rubber bumpers that uh, this was not pre-drilled from the factory or from uh, Dennis Carpenter. So what I did is went out there and measured the one, my old one, it's uh, five and an eighth inches from the center of your bottom hole down and then three quarters of an inch from this backing plate back in. But uh, this three quarters measure from the, this flat area out, five and an eighth down on both sides is where you'll mount uh, your little rubber piece here. keeps these things from rattling. So we'll do the same thing to the other side. Lastly, we need to put our latches in. And again, these are like your other parts. You put them in and they're going to have to be adjusted and moved around. So we'll just put them in and get them at some neutral position until we can adjust it. Hi right, guys. You just have to find a place to start. <laughs> it's, uh, it's no magic measurement. You just have to start pick your tailgate up and you'll start finding out where this stuff is striking, where it's not. So running into a little issue, when I close it, it start, it, when I finally got them lined up, my tailgate's actually pulling my, my quarters in. So it's like I'm, you know, they're, they need to be spaced out a little bit. And I've got these ran all the way over so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two spacers behind my latch assembly so I had to take the handle loose. What I'll do is I'll put the, my bolt on, put a washer in here for now, and see if that gets my alignment correct. And then we'll put it back together because what I need, I need this latch to move out a little bit so it's not trying to bring my quarters in. Because everything else looks really good, it's just something that's just a little tight. And I'm going to leave my latch off for now until we get all this done. All right guys, so the final remedy was spacers behind both of my latches. And then I ended up putting two spacers behind my upper uh, catches because it was, uh, it was bottoming out and not getting it all the way into my latch. And I've got my latch pulled all the way forward, so I don't know if it's a, just a placement thing where uh, Dennis Carpenter has the uh, the bolt holes in for your latch or what, but it was one one washer's worth is all it needed and it, it closes really tight here. I'll show you. And it's tight as it can be and you can check out my gap. It's perfect. So it fits really good. I've got my, my supports adjusted. And so what you want is when your tailgate bottoms out, you want both of your supports to hit at the same time so you don't have one bearing all the weight. And what you do with that is once you get it set, kind of put some weight on it and you can push these in and out, up and down too, get them set and you lock those down. But other than that, uh, let's, uh, we can mark this one off our list. Alright guys, uh, I know this probably, you know, a lot of you probably tuned out by now. <laughs> but for those of you that have stayed with me, you know, we appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. You know, it, uh, 
this wasn't just a simple bolt in, you know, it, I was actually telling Jonah, you think some of this stuff would just go on and we wouldn't have to do all this adjusting and shimming and all, but uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, but anyways, the overall look I'm, I'm very happy with. Uh, what I'm real happy with is this end cap. Both end caps hit it really well. So uh, I'm, I'm happy there. We, we've got something to work with. So this weekend we got a roll cage, we got a tailgate, we got the, you guys didn't see me take it off the rotisserie, but I did. It's just sitting on the frame, on the body mount. So uh, we're, uh, we're steadily making progress and moving forward. Once again, we appreciate you guys watching, uh, giving us a thumbs up and subscribing. It means a lot and we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.